What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Moan T, and the channel is 5-Minute Cigar Review, and today is a 5-Minute Cigar Review, and I've got a special guest, um, and I'm going to get right into it. It is the Epic Cigar. Epic Cigar. Oh, look at that. And as you can see, it is time to tap that ash. All right, so real quick, <clears throat> a couple videos ago, maybe a week or so ago, I did a video on my first experience with Cigars International ordering a cigar and the problems I had. And this is the cigar I was trying to order. I had been trying to get the cigar for over a year. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting Dean, the uh, founder of Epic Cigars, in Vegas a couple of years ago. Maybe, yeah, about two years ago. And he was gracious enough to give me an interview. And since then, I've corresponded with him a few times on Instagram. And he is a really cool dude. And I've uh, grown to like him. From what little I know, it's not like we're friends, but we've grown to like the guy. Um, and because of that, I was actually nervous about getting the cigar. I thought, man, what if I don't like the cigar, and he's such a cool dude, I have to give him a bad review. But, hey, all of my aversions were dismissed when I had the cigar, I finally got it. It is a tasty cigar. And right off the bat, I'm going to let you guys know, I give this bad boy three and a half fingers. Three and a half fingers. Um, really tasty cigar. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm giving him the three and a half, not because he's a cool dude, but because, I, I, seriously, I, I did, uh, I, I like the cigar. So I'm going to tell you what's in it. Um, according to my app here, the wrapper is a Brazilian. I think it's an Arapacara. Ar 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 yeah, I can't pronounce it. We'll just, we'll just say Brazilian. Um, the filler is, I'm sorry, the binder is Cameroon and the filler is Dominican uh, Nicaraguan. And uh, as usual, put those tobaccos together, you're pretty well, yeah, you're going to make a decent cigar. And Dean and his people down there at Epic have made a good cigar. It's got a nice draw. It's not too tight, but it's just, like for me, that perfect draw, it's just like that far over into the tightness. So nowhere near being tight, but it's just not perfect. It's just a little bit over, but it's nowhere near anything that would be a deal breaker for me. Good draw. I feel like I'm getting just the right amount of resistance and I'm getting just the right amount of smoke. And I do like a smoke producer and this bad boy produces some good smoke. Flavor wise, wow. So um, when I first toasted the the foot of this and took a couple of draws um i was kind of overcome by the savoriness of it, it it's and, and i say that because throughout the cigar there's a savory there's a butteriness almost like uh oh my light went out hold on i don't want to start the video over let's see here sorry about that uh, there we go sorry um there's a savoriness to it and a uh, butteriness, and it's just, this is the kind of cigar that I smoke and suddenly I want a steak. A steak with like sauteed mushrooms or something. It's, that would be, that would be the perfect dinner to have before having the cigar. Also, there's a hint of, I'm sorry, a hint of spice and a leather there. So that leather, savory, buttery to me all kind of mixes together. And then you get that hint of spice. Um, towards the end of it, uh, I noticed a little bit of a coffiness, or actually about halfway through, I noticed about a uh, a little bit of a coffee taste, but throughout a very rich tasting cigar, uh, very enjoyable. As you can see, it's a very dark Maduro um, wrapper. This bad boy, it looks good, it tastes good, it feels good. The one downside I would say for me, and it could have just been maybe the, when I ordered the cigars, I had a very difficult time getting them, and I don't know how long they were sitting waiting to be shipped whether they were in a humidor or not. But the very first one I got, even though I let it sit in my humidor for a couple of days before I smoked it, about three or four days, it still felt a little dry. Now this one here has been sitting for over a week, almost two weeks, and it doesn't feel the same way. But both were a little bit hard when I first uh, started smoking them. But as, you, as it heats up, you can start to feel it soften up a little bit. And again, that could have something to do with that little stiffness in the draw. Um, but again, I've got, if that's the biggest complaint I have, the cigar is doing fine. 
it was a little bit hard. Yeah, who really cares? The first one was a little dry. Again, that was probably because of shipping. But now, this bad boy feels right, tastes right, looks right, and I like it. Go out and check out Epic Cigars. I think you'll like it. If uh, you're on Instagram, go check out Dean over it. And I think his, uh, his Instagram is actually Epic Cigars. But, again, he's been very approachable. Nice dude. Shout out to you, my man. Um, thanks for the good cigars. I also got one of your other cigars. I'll be doing a review on that eventually. Um, oh, man, I'm over five minutes. Hey, y'all be cool. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hit me up with your comments and share the video. Y'all be cool. Stay smoky. Peace out.